One of the minor issues that I have with the Magic Mouse is the lack of features on it. Now you probably won't know what I'm talking about unless you've owned a MacBook Pro or if you've got a MacBook Pro. And what I'm talking about is the the features on the trackpad are more than what you have on the Magic Mouse. Now Apple no doubt will roll the similar features on the trackpad onto the Magic Mouse at a later stage. If you don't already know, Apple like to make you know small changes and make it out to be as if it's something big and the best example is the cut copy and paste on the iPhone and iPod touch which they could have launched you know at the starting stages but no they didn't they launched it you know a few months down the line and you know it was it, they pretty much like to have these small changes and make it look as if it's something new but it's not but um, if you own a Magic Mouse and you want to maybe have a lot of customization, similar to what you get on the trackpad, the two, the taps, the swipes, uh, you need an application called Magic Prefs. It's a free application, which is always a bonus. And let me go ahead and load that up. So at the moment, let's go to clicks and taps because that's the one I've customized. And I've been using this program for 24 hours and it's actually pretty sweet. So what I've set it to is one finger tap left and that will enable expose. So as you can see from the image of the mouse, I'm going to slightly tap it on the left one finger and it should open up expose. There we go. It started expose and if I tap it again, it should go back to the main screen. So there's a lot of customization you can do and you've got spaces, you can open up terminal, sc screen zooming in and out, quick, light, quick look, sorry, spotlight, hide application. So it's quite, I would say it's probably more advanced than what you get on the, Mag the MacBook Pros, the trackpad. I've also set the three finger tap and that enables spaces. And let's go and try that. There we go. Again, it's not you're not fully tapping in or fully bang or you know clicking the actual button on the magic mouse. It's just a slight tap. There we go, a slight tap, and that can be a problem sometimes. I've you know the, the twenty four hours that I've been using this application, sometimes when you just you know by mistake or just gradually do that to your mouse, it will open up expose and it's a bit annoying. But you you know if you go into swipes and you've got the drag and pinch as well. You don't necessarily have to use the taps, you can have it so it's set to expose, and that's a perfect example where you know you don't really intend to do it, but it happens anyway. So it's just one or two small glitches, and I'm sure they will overcome it. But overall, it's a fantastic application if you've got a Magic Mouse, a lot of customization on it, and if you're coming from MacBook Pro, these features will surely help you. So let's go on to the three finger swipes and this feature you also get on the MacBook Pro. What shall we do? Dashboard. Whoops, see, um, <laughs> that happened again, dashboard. So it's also good in that you get this diagram on the right hand side, very Apple-like. Apple have this same feature or same diagram in their own application. So it's fairly um, similar. So let's do the three finger swipe left and that opens up dashboard. Hey. So um, you know, it is quite advanced I would say. How do I get back out? Just one click. It is quite advanced. If you've got a magic mouse, go for it. It's a very neat application. It's free, so you might as well give it a try until Apple launch something of their own. And the last thing there you have is the drag pinch. And yeah, you can see for itself it's a free application. I'll put the link of this application in the description. Give it a check. Thanks for watching.